Saffron pronounced or, is a spice derived from the flower of Crocus sativus, commonly known as the saffron crocus. The vivid crimson stigmas and styles, called threads, are collected and dried to be used mainly as a seasoning and coloring agent in food. Saffron, long among the world's most costly spices by weight, was probably first cultivated in or near Greece. C. sativus is probably a form of C. cartrichianus, that emerged by human cultivators selectively breeding plants for unusually long stigmas in late Bronze Age Crete. It slowly propagated throughout much of Eurasia and was later brought to parts of North Africa, North America, and Oceania. Saffron's taste and iodoform or hay-like fragrance result from the chemicals picrocrosin and saffronol. It also contains a carotenoid pigment, crocin, which imparts a rich golden yellow hue to dishes and textiles. Its recorded history is attested in a 7th century BC Assyrian botanical treatise compiled under Ashurbanipal, and it has been traded and used for over four millennia. Iran now accounts for approximately 90% of the world production of saffron. Etymology A degree of uncertainty surrounds the origin of the English word saffron. It might stem from the 12th century Old French term saffron, which comes from the Latin word saffronum, from the Arabic zafiran, which comes from the Persian word zarparan meaning flower with golden petals. Species Description the domesticated saffron crocus, Crocus sativus, is an autumn flowering perennial plant unknown in the wild. It probably descends from the eastern Mediterranean autumn flowering Crocus cartrichianus, which is also known as wild saffron, and originated in Crete or mainland Greece. An origin in Southwest Asia, although often suspected, has been disapproved by botanical research. The saffron crocus probably resulted when C. cartrichianus was subjected to extensive artificial selection by growers seeking longer stigmas. C. Thomas C. and C. palaci are other possible sources. As a genetically monomorphic clone, it slowly propagated throughout much of Eurasia. It is a sterile triploid form, which means that three homologous sets of chromosomes compose each specimen. S genetic complement, C. sativus bears 8 chromosomal bodies per set, making for 24 in total. Being sterile, the purple flowers of C. sativus fail to produce viable seeds, reproduction hinges on human assistance, clusters of corms, underground, bulb-like, starch-storing organs, must be dug up, divided, and replanted. A corm survives for one season, producing via this vegetative division up to ten cormlets that can grow into new plants in the next season. The compact corms are small, brown globules that can measure as large as 5 cm in, in diameter, have a flat base, and are shrouded in a dense mat of parallel fibers. This coat is referred to as the corm tunic. Corms also bear vertical fibers, thin and net-like, that grow up to 5 cm above the plant's neck. The plant sprouts 5 to 11 white and non-photosynthetic leaves known as catafils. These membrane-like structures cover and protect the crocus's 5 to 11 true leaves as they bud and develop. The latter are thin, straight, and blade-like green foliage leaves, which are 1 to 3 mm .04 to 0.12 in, in diameter, which either expand after the flowers have opened histeranthus, or do so simultaneously with their blooming synanthus. C. sativus catafils are suspected by some to manifest prior to blooming when the plant is irrigated relatively early in the growing season. Its floral axes, or flower-bearing structures, bear bracteoles, or specialized leaves, that sprout from the flower stems, the latter are known as pedicels. After estivating in spring, the plant sends up its true leaves, each up to 40 cm in, in length. Only in October, after most other flowering plants have released their seeds, do its brilliantly hued flowers develop, they range from a light pastel shade of lilac to a darker and more striated mauve. The flowers possess a sweet, honey-like fragrance. Upon flowering, the plants are 20 to 30 centimeters 8 to 12 in, in height and bear up to four flowers. A three-pronged style 25 to 30 millimeters 1.0 to 1.2 in, in length, emerges from each flower. 
Each prong terminates with a vivid crimson stigma, which are the distal end of a carpal. Cultivation The saffron crocus, unknown in the wild, probably descends from Crocus cartritianus. It is a triploid that is self-incompatible and male sterile, it undergoes aberrant meiosis and is hence incapable of independent sexual reproduction. All propagation is by vegetative multiplication via manual divide and set of a starter clone or by interspecific hybridization. Crocus sativus thrives in the Mediterranean Maquis, an ecotype superficially resembling the North American chaparral, and similar climates where hot and dry summer breezes sweep semi arid lands. It can nonetheless survive cold winters, tolerating frosts as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius, 14 degrees Fahrenheit, and short periods of snow cover. Irrigation is required if grown outside of moist environments such as Kashmir, where annual rainfall averages 1,000 to 1,500 mm 39 to 59 in, saffron growing regions in Greece 500 mm or 20 in annually, and Spain 400 mm or 16 in, are far drier than the main cultivating Iranian regions. What makes this possible is the timing of the local wet seasons, generous spring rains and drier summers are optimal. Rain immediately preceding flowering boosts saffron yields, rainy or cold weather during flowering promotes disease and reduces yields. Persistently damp and hot conditions harm the crops, and rabbits, rats, and birds cause damage by digging up corms. Nematodes, leaf rusts, and corm rot pose other threats. Yet Bacillus subtilis inoculation may provide some benefit to growers by speeding corm growth and increasing stigma biomass yield. The plants fare poorly in shady conditions, they grow best in full sunlight. Fields that slope towards the sunlight are optimal, i.e., south sloping in the northern hemisphere. Planting is mostly done in June in the northern hemisphere, where corms are lodged 7 to 15 centimeters 3 to 6 in deep, its roots, stems, and leaves can develop between October and February. Planting depth and corm spacing, in concert with climate, are critical factors in determining yields. Mother corms planted deeper yield higher quality saffron, though form fewer flower buds and daughter corms. Italian growers optimize thread yield by planting 15 cm deep and in rows 2 to 3 cm 0.8 to 1.2 in apart, depths of 8 to 10 cm 3 to 4 in, optimize flower and corm production. Greek, Moroccan, and Spanish growers employ distinct depths and spacings that suit their locales. C. Sativus prefers friable, loose, low-density, well-watered, and well-drained clay calcareous soils with high organic content. Traditional raised beds promote good drainage. Soil organic content was historically boosted via application of some 20 to 30 tons, 20 to 30 long tons, 22 to 33 short tons of manure per hectare. Afterwards, and with no further manure application, corms were planted. After a period of dormancy through the summer, the corms send up their narrow leaves and begin to bud in early autumn. Only in mid-autumn do they flower. Harvests are by necessity a speedy affair, after blossoming at dawn, flowers quickly wilt as the day passes. All plants bloom within a window of one or two weeks. Stigmas are dried quickly upon extraction and preferably, sealed in airtight containers. One freshly picked flower yields an average 30 mg of fresh saffron or 7 mg dried. Roughly 150 flowers yield 1 gram of dry saffron threads, to produce 12 grams of dried saffron, 1 kg pounds of flowers are needed, 1 pound 0.45 kilograms yields 0.2 ounces 5.7 grams of dried saffron. To glean 1 pound 450 grams of dry saffron requires the harvest of 50,000 to 75,000 flowers, a kilogram requires 110,000 to 170,000 flowers. 40 hours of labor are needed to pick 150,000 flowers. Spice. Chemistry Saffron contains more than 150 volatile and aroma-yielding compounds. It also has many non-volatile active components, many of which are carotenoids, including zeaxanthin, lycopene, and various alpha and beta carotenes. However, saffron 
S golden yellow orange color is primarily the result of alpha crocin. This crocin is trans crocidin D, beta D gentiobiosol, ester. It bears the systematic IUPAC name 8, 8 DIAPO8, 8, 8 carotenoic acid. This means that the crocin underlying saffron S aroma is a digentiobias ester of the carotenoid crocidin. Crocins themselves are a series of hydrophilic carotenoids that are either monoglycosyl or diglycosyl polyne esters of crocidin. Crocidin is a conjugated polyne dicarboxylic acid that is hydrophobic, and thus oil soluble. When crocidin is esterified with two water soluble gentiobiases, which are sugars, a product results that is itself water soluble. The resultant alpha crocin is a carotenoid pigment that may comprise more than 10% of dry saffron. S mass. The two esterified gentiobiases make alpha crocin ideal for coloring water based and non fatty foods such as rice dishes. The bitter glucoside picrocrocin is responsible for saffron. S flavor. Picrocrocin, chemical formula, C16H2607, systematic name, 4, beta D glucoparanisoloxy, minus 2, 6, 6 trimethylcyclohex1en1 carboxaldehyde, is a union of an aldehyde sub molecule known as saffronyl, systematic name, 2, 6, 6 trimethylcyclohexa1, 3 dean 1 carboxaldehyde, and a carbohydrate. It has insecticidal and pesticidal properties, and may comprise up to 4% of dry saffron. Picrocrocin is a truncated version of the carotenoid zeaxanthin that is produced via oxidative cleavage, and is the glycoside of the terpene aldehyde saffronyl. When saffron is dried after its harvest, the heat, combined with enzymatic action, splits picrocrocin to yield D glucose and a free saffronyl molecule. Saffronyl, a volatile oil, gives saffron much of its distinctive aroma. Saffronyl is less bitter than picrocrocin and may comprise up to 70% of dry saffron's volatile fraction in some samples. A second molecule underlying saffron's aroma is 2-hydroxy-4, 4,6-trimethyl-2, 5-cyclohexadien-11, which produces a scent described as saffron, dried hay-like. Chemists find this is the most powerful contributor to saffron's fragrance, despite its presence in a lesser quantity than saffronyl. Dry saffron is highly sensitive to fluctuating pH levels, and rapidly breaks down chemically in the presence of light and oxidizing agents. It must, therefore, be stored away in airtight containers to minimize contact with atmospheric oxygen. Saffron is somewhat more resistant to heat. Grades and ISO 3632 categories Saffron is not all of the same quality and strength. Strength is related to several factors including the amount of style picked along with the red stigma. Age of the saffron is also a factor. More style included means the saffron is less strong gram for gram, because the color and flavor are concentrated in the red stigmas. Saffron from Iran, Spain and Kashmir is classified into various grades according to the relative amounts of red stigma and yellow styles it contains. Grades of Iranian saffron are Sargal Red stigma tips only, strongest grade Pushal or Pushali Red stigmas plus some yellow style, lower strength Bunch Saffron, red stigmas plus large amount of yellow style, presented in a tiny bundle like a miniature wheat sheaf, and conj, yellow style only, claimed to have aroma but with very little, if any, coloring potential. Grades of Spanish saffron are coupe, the strongest grade, like Iranian sargal, mancha, like Iranian pushal, and in order of further decreasing strength, rio, standard, and sierra. Saffron, the word mancha, in the Spanish classification can have two meanings, a general grade of saffron or a very high-quality Spanish-grown saffron from a specific geographical origin. Real Spanish-grown La Mancha saffron has PDO-protected status and this is displayed on the product packaging. Spanish growers fought hard for protected status because they felt that imports of Iranian saffron repackaged in Spain and sold as Spanish Mancha saffron. We're undermining the genuine La Mancha brand. Similar was the case in Kashmir where imported Iranian saffron is mixed with local saffron and sold as 
Kashmir brand at a higher price. In Kashmir, saffron is mostly classified into two main categories called mongra, stigma alone, or lacha, stigmas attached with parts of the style. Countries producing less saffron do not have specialized words for different grades and may only produce one grade. Artisan producers in Europe and New Zealand have offset their higher labor charges for saffron harvesting by targeting quality, only offering extremely high-grade saffron. In addition to descriptions based on how the saffron is picked, saffron may be categorized under the international standard ISO 3632 after laboratory measurement of crocin, responsible for saffron's color, picrocrocin, taste, and saffronal, fragrance or aroma, content. However, often there is no clear grading information on the product packaging and little of the saffron readily available in UK is labeled with ISO category. This lack of information makes it hard for customers to make informed choices when comparing prices and buying saffron. Under ISO 3632, determination of non-stigma content, floral waste content, and other extraneous matter such as inorganic material, ash are also key. Grading standards are set by the International Organization for Standardization, a federation of national standards bodies. ISO 3632 deals exclusively with saffron and establishes three categories, three, poorest quality, two, and I finest quality. Formerly there was also category IV, which was below category three. Samples are assigned categories by gauging the spices crocin and picrocrocin content, revealed by measurements of specific spectrophotometric absorbance. Saffronol is treated slightly differently and rather than there being threshold levels for each category, samples must give a reading of 20 to 50 for all categories. These data are measured through spectrophotometry reports at certified testing laboratories worldwide. Higher absorbances imply greater levels of crocin, picrocrocin and saffronol, and thus a greater coloring potential and therefore strength per gram. The absorbance reading of crocin is known as the coloring strength of that saffron. Saffron's coloring strength can range from lower than 80, for all category IV saffron, up to 200 or greater for category I. The world. As finest samples, the selected, most red maroon, tips of stigmas picked from the finest flowers, receive coloring strengths in excess of 250, making such saffron over three times more powerful than category IV saffron. Market prices for saffron types follow directly from these ISO categories. Sargol and Coupe saffron would typically fall into ISO 3632 category I. Pushal and Mancha would probably be assigned to category 2. On many saffron packaging labels, neither the ISO 3632 category nor the coloring strength, the measurement of crocin content, is displayed. However, many growers, traders, and consumers reject such lab test numbers. Some people prefer a more holistic method of sampling batches of threads for taste, aroma, pliability, and other traits in a fashion similar to that practiced by experienced wine tasters. However, ISO 3632 grade and coloring strength information allow consumers to make instant comparisons between the quality of different saffron brands, without needing to purchase and sample the saffron. In particular, consumers can work out value for money based on price per unit of coloring strength rather than price per gram, given the wide possible range of coloring strengths that different kinds of saffron can have. Adulteration Despite attempts at quality control and standardization, an extensive history of saffron adulteration, particularly among the cheapest grades, continues into modern times. Adulteration was first documented in Europe's Middle Ages, when those found selling adulterated saffron were executed under the Saffronshu Code. Typical methods include mixing in extraneous substances like beetroot, pomegranate fibers, red dyed silk fibers, or the saffron crocus. S. tasteless and odorless yellow stamens. Other methods included dousing saffron fibers with viscid substances like honey or vegetable oil to increase their weight. Powdered saffron is more prone to adulteration, with turmeric, paprika, and other powders used as diluting fillers. Adulteration can also consist of selling mislabeled mixes of different saffron grades. 
Thus, high-grade Kashmiri saffron is often sold and mixed with cheaper Iranian imports. These mixes are then marketed as pure Kashmiri saffron, a development that has cost Kashmiri growers much of their income. Safflower is a common substitute sometimes sold as saffron. The spice is reportedly counterfeited with horse hair, corn silk, or shredded paper. Tartrazine or sunset yellow have been used to color counterfeit powdered saffron. Types the various saffron crocus cultivars give rise to thread types that are often regionally distributed and characteristically distinct. Varieties, not varieties in the botanical sense, from Spain, including the trade names, Spanish Superior and Cram, are generally mellower in color, flavor, and aroma, they are graded by government imposed standards. Italian varieties are slightly more potent than Spanish. The most intense varieties tend to be Iranian. Various boutique crops are available from New Zealand, France, Switzerland, England, the United States, and other countries, some of them organically grown. In the U.S., Pennsylvania Dutch saffron, known for its earthy notes, is marketed in small quantities. Consumers may regard certain cultivars as premium quality. The aquila Saffron, or Zaffirano del Aquila, is defined by high saffronal and crocin content, distinctive thread shape, unusually pungent aroma, and intense color. It is grown exclusively on 8 hectares in the Navelli Valley of Italy. S. Abruzzo region, near L. Aquila. It was first introduced to Italy by a Dominican monk from Inquisition era Spain. But the biggest saffron cultivation in Italy is in San Gavino Monrol, Sardinia, where it is grown on 40 hectares, representing 60% of Italian production. It too has unusually high crocin, picrocrocin, and saffronal content. Another is the Mangra or Lacha saffron of Kashmir, Crocus sativus. Kashmirianus, which is among the most difficult for consumers to obtain. Repeated droughts, blights, and crop failures in Kashmir combined with an Indian export ban, contribute to its prohibitive overseas prices. Kashmiri saffron is recognizable by its dark maroon purple hue, it is among the world's darkest, which hints at strong flavor, aroma, and coloring effect. Trade Almost all saffron grows in a belt from Spain in the west to Kashmir in the east. The other continents, except Antarctica, produce smaller amounts. In 2014, 250 t 250,000 kilograms were produced worldwide. Iran is responsible for around 90-93% of global production, and much of their produce is exported. A few of Iran's drier eastern and southeastern provinces, including Fars, Kerman, and those in the Khorasan region, glean the bulk of modern global production. In 2005, the second-ranked Greece produced 5.7 t 5, kg, while Morocco, the Berber region of Talyuin, and Kashmir tied for third rank, each producing 2.3 t 2, kg. In recent years, Afghan cultivation has risen. Azerbaijan, Morocco, and Italy are, in decreasing order, lesser producers. Prohibitively high labor costs and abundant Iranian imports mean that only select locales continue the tedious harvest in Austria, Germany, and Switzerland, among them the Swiss village of Mund, whose annual output is a few kilograms. Microscale production of saffron can be found in Australia, mainly the state of Tasmania, Canada, Central Africa, China, Egypt, parts of England, France, Israel, Italy, Basilicata, Mexico, New Zealand, Sweden, Gotland, Turkey, mainly around the town of Safranbolu, the United States, California and Pennsylvania. Saffron prices at wholesale and retail rates range from $500 to $5,000 per pound, or $1,100 minus $11,000 per kilogram. In Western countries, the average retail price in 1974 was $1,000 per pound, or $2,200 per kilogram. In February 2013, a retail bottle containing 0.06 ounces could be purchased for $16.26 or the equivalent of $4,336 per pound or as little as about $2,000 per pound in larger quantities. 
A pound contains between 70,000 and 200,000 threads. Vivid crimson coloring, slight moistness, elasticity, and lack of broken off thread debris are all traits of fresh saffron. Uses Saffron's aroma is often described by connoisseurs as reminiscent of metallic honey with grassy or hay-like notes, while its taste has also been noted as hay-like and sweet. Saffron also contributes a luminous yellow-orange coloring to foods. Saffron is widely used in Persian, Indian, European, and Arab cuisines. Confectionaries and liquors also often include saffron. Saffron is used in dishes ranging from the jeweled rice and korish of Iran, the Milanese risotto of Italy, the paella of Spain, the bouillabaisse of France, to the biryani with various meat accompaniments in South Asia. One of the most esteemed use for saffron is in the preparation of the golden ham, a precious dry cured ham made with saffron from San Gimignano. Common saffron substitutes include safflower, Carthamus tinctorius, which is often sold as Portuguese saffron, or Akafrau, anato, and turmeric, curcuma longa. Saffron has a long history of use in traditional medicine. Saffron has also been used as a fabric dye, particularly in China and India, and in perfumery. It is used for religious purposes in India. Nutrition Dried saffron is composed of 65% carbohydrates, 6% fat, 11% protein, table, and 12% water. In comparison to other spices or dried foods, the nutrient content of dried saffron shows richness in content of B vitamins and dietary minerals, table. In a serving of 1 tablespoon 2 grams, manganese is present as 28% of the daily value, while other micronutrients have negligible content, table. Research One limited meta-analysis concluded that saffron supplementation improved symptoms in people with major depressive disorders. Another review of preliminary human research indicated that it may have effects on mild to moderate depression. History The documented history of saffron cultivation spans more than three millennia. The wild precursor of domesticated saffron crocus is probably Crocus cartritianus. If C. sativus is a mutant form of C. cartritianus, then it may have emerged by human cultivators selectively breeding specimens for unusually long stigmas in late Bronze Age Crete. It slowly propagated throughout much of Eurasia and was later brought to parts of North Africa, North America, and Oceania. Eastern Saffron was detailed in a 7th century BC Assyrian botanical reference compiled under Ashurbanipal. Documentation of saffron's use over the span of 3,500 years has been uncovered. Saffron based pigments have indeed been found in 50,000 year old depictions of prehistoric places in northwest Iran. The Sumerians later used wild growing saffron in their remedies and magical potions. Saffron was an article of long-distance trade before the Minoan Palace culture's second millennium BC peak. Ancient Persians cultivated Persian saffron Crocus sativus, in Durbant, Isfahan, and Khorasan by the 10th century BC. At such sites, saffron threads were woven into textiles, ritually offered to divinities, and used in dyes, perfumes, medicines, and body washes. Saffron threads would thus be scattered across beds and mixed into hot teas as a curative for bouts of melancholy. Non-Persians also feared the Persians' usage of saffron as a drugging agent and aphrodisiac. During his Asian campaigns, Alexander the Great used Persian saffron in his infusions, rice, and baths as a curative for battle wounds. Alexander's troops imitated the practice from the Persians and brought saffron bathing to Greece. Conflicting theories explain saffron's arrival in South Asia. Kashmiri and Chinese accounts date its arrival anywhere between 2,500 to 900 years ago. Historians studying ancient Persian records date the arrival to sometime prior to 500 BC, attributing it to a Persian transplantation of saffron corms to stock new gardens and parks. Phoenicians then marketed Kashmiri saffron as a dye and a treatment for melancholy. Its use in foods and dyes subsequently spread throughout South Asia. 
Buddhist monks wear saffron-colored robes, however, the robes are not dyed with costly saffron but turmeric, a less expensive dye, or jackfruit. Monks' robes are dyed the same color to show equality with each other, and turmeric or ochre were the cheapest, most readily available dyes. Gamboge is now used to dye the robes. Some historians believe that saffron came to China with Mongol invaders from Persia. Yet saffron is mentioned in ancient Chinese medical texts, including the 40 volume pharmacopoeia titled Shenong Benkaojing, Shen Nong Ben Sao Jing Shenong's Great Herbal. Also known as Pen Sao or Pun Sao, a tome dating from 300 to 200 BC. Traditionally credited to the fabled Yan Fire Emperor Yan Di Shenong, it discusses 252 phytochemical-based medical treatments for various disorders. Nevertheless, around the 3rd century AD, the Chinese were referring to saffron as having a Kashmiri provenance. According to Chinese herbalist Wan Zhen, T. He habitat of saffron is in Kashmir, where people grow it principally to offer it to the Buddha. Wan also reflected on how it was used in his time. The flower withers after a few days, and then the saffron is obtained. It is valued for its uniform yellow color. It can be used to aromatize wine. Wider Near East The Minoans portrayed saffron in their palace frescoes by 1600–1500 BC. They hint at its possible use as a therapeutic drug. Ancient Greek legends told of sea voyages to Cilicia, where adventurers sought what they believed were the world's most valuable threads. Another legend tells of Crocus and Smilax, whereby Crocus is bewitched and transformed into the first saffron crocus. Ancient perfumers in Egypt, physicians in Gaza, townspeople in Rhodes, and the Greek hetere courtesans used saffron in their scented waters, perfumes and potpourris, mascaras and ointments, divine offerings, and medical treatments. In late Ptolemaic Egypt, Cleopatra used saffron in her baths so that lovemaking would be more pleasurable. Egyptian healers used saffron as a treatment for all varieties of gastrointestinal ailments. Saffron was also used as a fabric dye in such Levantine cities as Sidon and Tyre in Lebanon. Aulus Cornelius Celsus prescribes saffron in medicines for wounds, cough, colic, and scabies, and in the Mithridatium. Western Europe Saffron was a notable ingredient in certain Roman recipes such as Jussel and Conditum. Such was the Romans. Love of saffron that Roman colonists took it with them when they settled in southern Gaul, where it was extensively cultivated until Rome's fall. With this fall, European saffron cultivation plummeted. Competing theories state that saffron only returned to France with 8th century AD Moors or with the Avignon Papacy in the 14th century AD. Similarly, the spread of Islamic civilization may have helped reintroduce the crop to Spain and Italy. The 14th century Black Death caused demand for saffron based medicaments to peak, and Europe imported large quantities of threads via Venetian and Genoan ships from southern and Mediterranean lands such as Rhodes. The theft of one such shipment by noblemen sparked the 14 week long Saffron War. The conflict and resulting fear of rampant saffron piracy spurred corn cultivation in Basel, it thereby grew prosperous. The crop then spread to Nuremberg, where endemic and insalubrious adulteration brought on the Saffronshu Code, whereby culprits were variously fined, imprisoned, and executed. Meanwhile, cultivation continued in southern France, Italy, and Spain. The Essex town of Saffron Walden, named for its new specialty crop, emerged as a prime saffron growing and trading center in the 16th and 17th centuries but cultivation there was abandoned. Saffron was reintroduced around 2013 as well as other parts of the UK, Cheshire. The Americas Europeans introduced saffron to the Americas when immigrant members of the Schwenkfelder Church left Europe with a trunk containing its corms. Church members had grown it widely in Europe. By 1730, the Pennsylvania Dutch cultivated saffron throughout eastern Pennsylvania. Spanish colonies in the Caribbean bought large amounts of this new American saffron, and high demand ensured that saffron's list price on the Philadelphia Commodities Exchange was equal to gold. Trade with the Caribbean later collapsed in the aftermath of the War of 1812, when many saffron-bearing merchant vessels were destroyed. 
Yet the Pennsylvania Dutch continued to grow lesser amounts of saffron for local trade and use in their cakes, noodles, and chicken or trout dishes. American saffron cultivation survives into modern times, mainly in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. References Bibliography Books Journal articles External links Saffron Darling Biomedical Library, UCLA Crocus Sativus Germplasm Resources Information Network, USDA, archived from the original on 10 November 2004.